I understand you have some big news you're going to break right here on Political Buzz. Right here, right now. Uh, I'm going to declare that I will be running for the uh, Park District uh, seat uh, on the Board of Education, uh, which election is in, I believe, on May 7 this year. Now, just a few weeks ago, when you were thinking about running uh, to go uh, up on the school board, we had Ralph Hernandez, member of the school board, mm -hmm. and uh, you gentlemen went at it about certain things, and you have some strong things, some strong opinions about not only Ralph, but the school board overall. Well, I think at that uh, presentation, uh, Ralph, Ralph uh, sort of illustrated the, the problems uh, that the entire board had. Uh, they don't face reality. These are people that don't even recognize their own inability, their own inability to comprehend the magnanimous challenges that have been given to them as a board. This is a $965 million a year operation. This involves 32,242 kids in the city system and another 8,819 kids in the charter system, uh, 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 all residents of the city of Buffalo. This involves probably the, the worst social ills that our community suffers today. This Board of Education uh, and its effectiveness bear upon, upon generations of people that have moved out of the city because they could, uh, to, they could not afford to send their kids to private schools and were not about to send them to di a di totally dysfunctional public school system. This board has an influence directly in the, in the dropout rates that send kids, young kids that had a, were deprived of an opportunity to achieve, deprived of the education that they're entitled to. They go out onto the streets when they drop out, and what do you think they do? They get involved in gangs. They get involved in illicit activities. They burglarize. They steal. They take drugs. They shoot each other, and they shoot other people. That is what a guy like Ralph, and, and I know it sounds cruel, but he doesn't have the mental capacity to deal with that stuff. I presented facts and figures on that show two weeks ago, and Ralph said, oh, no, no, those can't, can't be the numbers. They aren't the numbers. The man has been there for this long, and he doesn't understand that facts are facts. You can't make this stuff up. This guy and, and most of his board, fellow board members do not comprehend the basic problems of that district. 